And five, four, three, two, one, time. Six saltines in under a minute can't be done. It's like concrete in here. That's what they said about the two-minute mile. Nobody's ever run a two-minute mile. Watch and learn, Chi-Chi. OK. And go. Mm. Six saltines all at once, you're smoking crack, dude. If you want to get kooky, you could do five and one for four and two. But six altogether, you're mm. just off the grid. Mm. Although I must say, you are dominating those saltines. Terry McConkey is bitch slapping mm. these crackers. I, you're going to do it. You're going to 45 seconds. Wow, that's amazing. The saltine challenge is, in fact, no challenge whatsoever. Pay up. OK. There you go. How do you do it? I have a wet mouth. Super wet. You know, it's the saliva that allows you to taste food, which means food must taste great to you. It does. It's great. I really enjoyed my lunch today. OK. I ask this next question with all due respect. Which means you don't. If someone is born with a wetter mouth than the average person, does that mean they are more likely to be plus size because food tastes better to them? Or if you're born plus size, maybe you're genetically born with a wetter mouth, which makes food tastier, which keeps you plus sized. Hmm. Makes you think. Yeah. It's a real chicken or the egg scenario, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> No, you did it. You just watched some Tacoma FD, and that makes you a hero. Now go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You can do it. Looking good, Tiger. Good form. You're an inspiration to us all.